ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to game number two of this best of three in the round of eight of the WCS Winter Championship qualifiers here. Spawning in the top position on Orbital Shipyard, representing Millennium, playing as the Red Terran player, it's Daishi. And his opponent spawning in the bottom position as the Blue Protoss player, representing Team Planet Key Dynamics, it's Kung Fu Banda. He's currently 1-0 up, and unfortunately, uh, Daishi had a couple of... Uh, errors in the previous game, including cancelling a command center at 99%, uh, basically when his cable hit the escape key. So that was really unfortunate, but it, uh, to be fair, I think Kung Fu Panda also put an awful lot of pressure on, did a good amount of damage with his two oracles, and just kept it, uh, kept up the pressure really, really well. So I feel like on balance there, uh, based on how the game played out, Kung Fu Panda deserved to win that, and uh, yeah, he just played a good game. Really unfortunate from Daishi that he also had the compounded effect of that command center, and we hope that he can bounce back in game number two. Now we have a probe moving out across the middle of the map here. Just the one barracks immediately going for that command center is Daishi, then going for the second one. So I believe in that last game, I think we started with a barracks first and then a CC. But either way, we're going to be getting roughly to the same position this time around. Another SCV has popped out to harass that probe and move it away. And this time, Kung Fu Banda will be able to spot that the command center is almost complete. Third barracks coming down as well. So uh, this has the potential to be reasonably aggro. And uh, this SCV needs to be careful because the probe will be able to take it down if he lets it. Both sides on 20 hit points, but of course once shields regenerate on that probe, it will be able to take out an SCV. And this little guy is going to be going up to mine that gas. Meanwhile, we have the Nexus up. We have the first Stalker coming out of the Gateway Cybernetics Core en route. Nothing out of the ordinary there. And it looks like Daishi is going to be going for more or less the same composition in the early game. Now, last time around, Kung Fu Banner managed to catch him out with the Oracle play, where he grabbed two Oracles out very, very quickly indeed. This time, I am sure Daishi is going to be a little bit more aware. We have a slightly earlier tech lab coming down as well on these barracks. Um, still just the one gas at the moment. No doubt that's going to be for a reasonably quick stim. So we'll keep an eye on that. He's on 80 gas right now. And uh, I suspect he'll be getting a bit more gas shortly. A third Nexus is coming down from Kung Fu Banda now at the three minute mark. So uh, very aggressively expanding here on Orbital Shipyard. Marines from Daishi moving out left and right to see if he can spot uh, any sort of proxies. So possibly a reaction to game number one there where he got caught out by the Oracles. He won't see anything because nothing's actually there this time around. We have got Stim en route and this will be the time where we see the additional gases being taken from Daishi and an engineering bay going down as well. So rather than having Marines inside both bases this time, I wonder if Daishi is going to invest in a missile turret or two. We're obviously not seeing the same strategy come out of Kung Fu Banda this time, though. We haven't got any proxy Stargates, and in addition to that, we simply have an earlier Twilight Council back home. So that's very, very interesting indeed. We'll see how long it takes for Daishi to spot this. A single Marine is hoping to pop up here and see what is on the other side of the ramp. He will basically just see there are two Stalkers here. And unfortunately, that's about it as far as starting information is concerned. Blink has now started at the Twilight Council, and the factory, well, it's taking a while to get down, to be honest. It's going to be a while before Daishi has Metavax. He's just being very, very turtle on two bases at the moment. The third command center has started. We are getting all the way up to, ah, just the three gases, so not going for the fourth just yet. And we have more barracks coming in, and look at that. We have the missile turret in the natural, but not in the main, because most of the marines are here. And that, frankly, is enough to deal with two oracles, should they pop by. So he is fine, but we're just focusing on trying to macro up off of three bases is Kung Fu Banda right now. And he's saying, I want to get an income advantage and hopefully execute some sort of timing here. It won't be pre-stim or anything like that. And, uh, oh, I like this pylon because I don't actually think it's going to be for proxy anything. I think it's just basically to spot Medivax popping in here. Well, not that one, because that one didn't do a very good job. Uh, but really useful pre-warning against any drops that might be popping in. 
So we'll keep a close eye on the robotics facility and whether or not we see any sort of rush coming out of him here. There is the warp gate on that last gateway. And Kung Fu Banda is looking reasonably comfortable. A very quick robotics bay coming down after the robo facility is down here. Could we be seeing Colossi? Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, flying into the main base. Unfortunately, these Marines are going to prevent him from getting any scouting information other than the fact that, well, these are basically all the production buildings. We have a scan going down, and that is at the third base location. Unfortunately, this gives Daishi next to no information at the moment. Uh, these stalkers, well, great. There appears to be a nexus here, and that's actually about it as far as he saw tech-wise. So the robotics bay eludes Daishi as things currently stand. A second engineering bay has now gone down, and we have plus one attack nearly complete for the Terran player. Ooh, and this, wow, we have the Adept upgrade popping in now from the Twilight Council as well. And we have got Colossi, woohoo! This is going to be lots of fun. Observer, Colossi, and Warp Prisms incoming. An extended Thermal Lance is being Chrono Boosted out, so we're going to be seeing some good old fashioned uh, Death Ball Protossing PVT sort of Wings of Liberty-esque style compositions. Obviously, the Adepts and the Mothership Corps, maybe not so much, but going to be enjoyable to spot these Colossi moving out across the field now. And against this heavy bio style, it can actually work out incredibly well. The third Orbital Command is now up and mining and being nice and comfortable for Deji. Plus two attack is on the way, and plus one armor as well. He's got a small unit of bio moving out, just stimming part of this army through, saying, don't worry, mate, I'll take out this debris for you. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do when a Colossus pops down? Oh, God, probably snipe it off. Trying to stim forward to kill it, but a couple of well-placed force fields mean that Daishi is going to have to fall back here. And we have uh, Liberators coming in in addition to Medivacs right now. Deji thinking about doing more damage, but unfortunately he's going to have to deal with this war prison back home at the moment. These adepts are just being really, really frustrating. Uh, they should be able to kill off a decent number of SCVs, and they're also going to be warping out of here into the next base. But Deji with a good positioning on those units means that he's able to get basically all of them. And four adepts, well, they remain alive, but only for now. Three, two, one, and there we go. Are there more adepts here? No, but the War Prism is here and Gulf Fruit Banda would be wise to get out of there. And there we go. Okay, so decent amount of damage done, I suppose. Let's take a look at the Worker's Kill tab. 9-0. to zero. You would take that. That's absolutely no problem. Unanswered Worker Kills are always delicious. 71 probes to 60 SCVs in this game number 2. The supplies are currently 141 to 132 in favor of our Terran player. And we have our fourth base for Kung Fu Banda popping down now as well, making sure he keeps his economy going into the late game. Daishi now moving out across the map near those gold minerals. It's actually a part of the map that Kung Fu Banda doesn't have any visibility over right now. So it could end up being useful. The Liberator will ooh, spot those Adept Shades popping by. Looks like a couple also want to hop into the main. They might actually succeed in doing so, to be honest. Uh, but they won't be able to do too much damage. What's more important, though, is the damage being done here. Liberator is down. Fourth base has been cancelled. And a good amount of damage being done by that bio. Forcing Kung Fu Banda back as well. And it's back to three base versus three base. But these adepts are actually doing a surprisingly good amount of damage. And it looks like, well... With the upgrades, uh, this Adept seems to be doing well, but it is one up uh, at the end of the day. More Adepts moving into the main base, trying their best to pick off as many workers as they can. And you will see that they are, in fact, two-shotting these SCVs. Pretty useful with, that, uh, with their upgrades, with the plus one attack. They're just constantly doing as much damage as they possibly can. And the Shades are popping once again back into the main base. The number of workers killed, 22 and rising. This uh, mid to late game harassment with the War Prison and the Adepts has just been fantastic coming out of Gung Fu Banda here. All of the Adepts finally get cleaned up, but the fourth base is now back down. 139 to 140 supply, but Gung Fu Banda is the one with the bank. He doesn't quite have enough gas to sort of make all of this worth it right now. But what he is doing is he's building a mineral bank. He has over a thousand minerals right now. He's starting to get disruptors, which are going to be so sick against this bio. You're going to have to constantly be splitting so, so well. We have uh, a good number of Colossi, four with this army. 
And uh, Daishi is coming in now, but with the Disruptors and Colossa, I think it could end up being rather difficult. Photon Overcharge immediately getting put down on the pylon here. And Daishi starting to mass up. Oh, it looks like he might be going for a rather large drop. This army moving back into the main base. Has it... Sp yes, it's been spotted now. The Observer saw the uh, distinct lack of army there. And we have got this bio now converging on the Colossi. Are they going to get some good kills? There are five Vikings with this. The Blink Stalker as well successfully targeted down one Viking and the second. Need to make sure you're constantly microing that. There's small, small bio force behind here. Doing a good job against the fourth base as well. And Daishi is picking up and going into the main. He is trying to pull Gong Fu Banda in way too many directions right now. All of the pylons at the fourth base are going down. It doesn't supply block Gong Fu Banda. He's got drops now coming inside his main as well. And he's still... Well, he's managed to clean that up. But the presence at his fourth base is actually still very strong. Daishi could... Uh basically pick off every unit here if he wants to there comes the warp in to try and stop that from happening Ooh, the disruptor shot doing an excellent job and the colossi will be able to pick off the remaining units inside the main base this is down to an an marauder yeah we'll go with that for now unfortunately these adepts will be able to take that apart and 24 to 9 is the workers killed this game very uh very scrappy fight towards the end there. Daishi just trying to split his army into many, many different ones uh, to force Gung Fu Banner to split his forces up as effectively as possible. But I honestly think the Protoss player did a good job uh, just basically using units to buy time, even though they would narrowly lose to the Marauders, and then focusing on bringing his army to where the Medivacs are, where the real damage of the Terran can potentially get done. And now I think if Daishi gets a good engagement here, that would actually bode him really well. He's got this really nice small bioforce to the north, actually pincering this army in. The Vikings are giving chase. All but one of the Colossi are now down. Yes, there's Psionic Storm with this army. Yes, there are two Immortals, but the heavy hitters are basically gone now. The Disruptors are not here. The Colossi are not here. And Daishi will be able to successfully grab this base here. Although I have to say, it's a very long way from the third. You're basically going to have to semi-permanently keep your army in this kind of position to sort of defend that expansion. We have a couple of units now chilling out over here with the meta. It looks like it's just going to be the two Marauders uh, trying to pick off a couple of workers from the high ground. Actually doing a sick good job right now considering it's just two... Uh... Oh no, Marauder, don't die! Oh wow, that was close. But he did manage to do enforcing the Photon Overcharge as well. And wow, getting out in that medevac. Guys, this is Army of Two here. Oh my goodness. These two Marauders are like the MVPs of this game right now. But Gung Fu Banda is going for a counter-attack. Trying to pick off the fourth base. Great storms preventing the army from coming in. And this is a really annoying choke point for Daishi to have to deal with. If Gung Fu Banda moves in now and has two more storms here, it basically forces the entirety of Daishi back. He's landed his Vikings, he has a lot of Marauders here, and he's slowly healing up his army. By the looks of things, Gung Fu Banda is making a dash backwards right now. And the Workers Killed is slowly but surely coming back to evens. 24 to 21 in this game right now, and Gung Fu Banda upgrading the capabilities of his army with a couple of Archons. Ooh! Needs to be careful. Ghosts with those EMPs doing a good job of killing off a couple of those Stalkers, actually. And even though we have three Archons here, these Ghosts can prove to be very valuable for Daishi as he moves on. Excellent Storm from Gung Fu Banda holding this defensive position. Daishi splitting his army in half to try and get a good surround, but now it looks like the glove is on the other hand. Gung Fu Banda pushing back. So much uh, area of effect damage being done by those Archons there as well. And even with these Vikings in the mix, there's just no more healing from the Medivacs right now. This army is so, so close to dying. A couple of ghosts are joining in as well. But Gung Fu Banda, I mean, the quality of this army is just really high right now. And Daishi's army is looking like it is on the verge of death. That said, he's got a lot of mules and he has successfully taken this fourth base. So... He's getting the income he needs to go up to 200 supply. He's definitely pulled himself comfortably back into contention here. And I have to say, Gung Fu Banda, uh, possibly with some really, really good early game engagements now, he's trying to shut this fourth base down to close out and get himself a victory. He's going to find it slightly difficult, though. A couple of shades popping in initially, and two liberators are now saying, right... If you want to pop in here, you're going to have to go and eat an awful lot of damage. Gung Fu Banda wisely falling back at the result of that and just going for a fifth base. A pylon <laughs> is going to get taken out by SCVs so that the fifth base can actually be taken by Daishi here. 
And he's moving out now with Ghost in the Vanguard. Needs to be careful. There are Storms. There are Archons. There are some... Ooh, very nice. Instantly making that into an Archon there. But these Ghosts are going to be able to do so, so much. Kung Fu Panda thinking about popping by. But Liberator completely zoning out the Protoss here. That fifth is going to have to get cancelled. And I have to say, Daishi is doing a good job of pushing in here in game number two. Kung Fu Panda is struggling to defend right now because those EMPs were just too strong. The Colossus play did great in the early part of the game, but he wasn't able to push an advantage quickly enough, and Daishi got his Vikings together. He got time to grab those Ghosts, and uh, he's feeling pretty comfortable right now. He's on 3-2 upgrades. Yes, okay, the Protoss are 3-3. A lot of Liberators coming in, and this could end up being the final engagement. Some sick EMPs to start the engagement off. Those Immortals have no shields. Those, uh, those Archons basically have no shields as well, and I think there's one Storm with this army right now. A lot of Archons being forced to get made, and these Liberators can just act as a buffer for the rest of the bio right now. Now, the biggest weakness in Daishi's army is that there isn't a lot of healing left in these medevacs, so this army, you can't overstim it. But he's in such a dangerous position. I don't really know what Gung Fu Banda can do. He's retaking his fifth over on the right, uh, left hand side, rather. And this scan will be able to pick that up. But this looks like it could end up being the defining fight. Another excellent couple of EMPs waiting for the Protoss army to get into the zone of the Liberators. They do just that right now. Gung Fu Banda actually trying to tear through. And Daishi being forced back. I think he miscalculated just how much damage he could do with his units at red health. And oh god, a whole bunch of. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, that's not good. You don't want to be chucking away SCVs when, uh, to be perfectly honest, you're not exactly maxed out at the moment. You don't need to be sacrificing them. Gung Fu Banda now trying to pop by on the counterattack, but all this time he has been restricted to four bases. The fifth gets cancelled up once again. He's at 113 supply versus 138, so he really needs to make something happen here, but there's so much DPS from the buyer. The Colossi are going to be able to do a good amount of damage, but they're slowly falling, and the Marauders are stimming forward to pick this off. Gung Fu Banda down to 65 supply now, and Daishi, while he's not exactly maxed out himself, is still at 100. More mules are getting dropped. He successfully stopped Gung Fu Banda from taking a fourth base for quite a while. He has successfully stopped the fifth base from ever going down for the Protoss player. And now Daishi is in a position where he definitely has the advantage. Gung Fu Banda is struggling and running out of options right now. Daishi has played very effectively with these ghosts and it looks like he's going to be able to force a game number three here. We even have an orbital command going to be dropping down to the gold base to try and cement his advantage and really push this home. Another great storm, but also great reactions there from Daishi and that's going to be that. Daishi successfully takes game number two and pushes this series to three out of three.